So now in this video we're going to focus on measuring current through the uh, blue LED and I have the red one here. We looked at that in the last video and I'm just making simple videos right now because I don't have any more complex videos uh, in the pipeline at the moment. Um, so in any case, uh, we looked at last video, we got about 13.6 milliamps of current going through this red LED with the 220 ohm resistor protecting it from 5 volts right there. Whereas uh, the blue LED, we have much less current, but there you can see they're about the same brightness. That's one reason why I wanted to compare this. This is a 1000 ohm resistor. That's the main thing setting the current, but the uh, blue LED does drop a little bit uh, more voltage. And uh, so there we go. We got the current for the red LED. I think it's about 13.6. This isn't as accurate as a multimeter. We'll come to the uh, multimeter in a little bit. And uh, there we go. Now we got the blue LED. And... Um, so there should be about two milliamps of current uh, going through it, which we see on the uh, power supply right there. So if you're using a power supply that shows the current, you can get a fairly good estimate of the current, especially at these lower levels. Um, but a multimeter will get you a more accurate reading. And as a quick note, of course, the value of the resistors are color coded, uh, but the packaging usually indicates this is 200, it says R, but uh, that's ohms right there 220 ohms for this resistor and uh, I wrote 1k on there but it was 1k on the paper obviously I use a lot of these so it's uh, kind of uh, falling apart and uh, little plastic baggies are good for storing uh, little components and you can write on them with a uh, black marker but uh, this particular kit a lot of kits have the color code and stuff so if you want to learn it you can do that and now we will get to the current so last video we did ohms a lot to measure the current through the red led we can do the same with the blue so we're using a five volt uh, power supply five volts across the rail 1000 ohm resistor there but the blue led drops about three volts so that's two volts across the 1000 ohm resistor and uh you take uh, two volts divided by a thousand ohm you can expect uh, two milliamps of current now we have the meter make sure that it's at the uh, milliamp setting you leave the red probe there for everything other than high current. And then uh, COM always is to that spot, the black probe uh, with this multimeter. So we're gonna set it to measure milliamps. This will go up to 600 milliamps. If uh, you have numbers on there, make sure that uh, the number is higher in milliamps in this case than the amount of current that you're going to uh, be measuring. So yeah, we got the uh, multimeter on. I'm gonna pluck the jumpers for both of these you need to complete the circuit with the meter so it'll be a series uh, connection and uh, that means whatever currents flowing through the components is also flowing through the meter and uh, the meter will not uh, change the current it uh, just uh, measures it so really good meter won't change that at all of course you might you'll probably lose you know just a small speck of current but there you can see we got uh, 12 looks like about 0.2 milliamps of current going through here and uh, as the LED lights up it may go up slightly so we could see that the blue LED was just as bright as the red LED um, even though there's far less current as we saw in the last video we got about 13.6 uh, so it, it's more energy efficient if you want an LED that lights up when something uh, goes on and you don't want to use a ton of current blue LED is the uh, better option right there uh, green LED is about the same as a blue one whereas an orange LED is about the same as a red one so the uh, color uh, determines uh, the forward voltage most of the time um, and other factors if you use different uh, LEDs now we will measure both of them you'll see that uh, they both uh, light up right there and uh, so they have separate paths but then they combine uh, so their combined uh, currents are going to go through the uh, multimeter right now. And there you can see that uh, total current. So in any case, um, that's about it. This video was intended for beginners. It uh, doesn't take very long to make uh, beginner uh, circuit uh, videos. and uh, But uh, you got to learn them before you can understand the more complex stuff. Uh, so make sure you always watch beginner videos. If uh, whatever you were watching didn't make any sense, um, all the stuff that you needed to know was covered in beginner videos. But in uh, any case, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.